Welcome, this is the Delta Math Tutorial Solution. Here we have transformation function mix A1. It says to graph the following function by moving the green and blue dots if necessary. And here is the new function. Y is equal to negative parentheses x minus 3 squared. The parent function is x squared. Okay, so we can use our properties of our transformations of our parabola. We know here this can be written in the terms of the vertex form. Vertex form can be expressed as f of x is equal to an a value in front, parentheses x minus your h, parentheses squared, plus your k value here. All right. So in this problem, we had y is equal to negative x minus 3 squared and the rest here we can write a plus 0 okay so we know that the a is going to be equal to negative 1 right here and your h it's going to be 3 so what does this a of negative 1 means well it means that the size is the same that's what the one means. And then the negative means you flip. Okay, so the one means size is the same. The negative means you flip. The h equals to three. That means you move. h means left or right. So it's positive. So it moves to the right. Move right three. So, okay, first of all, we have this. And we're going to flip it. So it was at 1, 1. Now it becomes 1, negative 1. Okay? That's just me flipping it. Then we move to the right 3. So grab the 3, which is the green. Move it right 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay? And then submit your answer. There you go. So notice that we reflected over the x-axis because that is your... Um, negative and then the size does not change because it is a one then we shift the right three because of the h equals to three okay let's do the next problem same problem here it is a parabola y equals to parentheses x plus one squared plus five this is a very beautiful problem because the a is still unchanged so y is equal to x plus 1 squared plus 5. So we saw that the a is the number in front, so the a is 1. So here we know that nothing, no, none, size change, or no size change, okay? Or, or no flip, also no flip, okay? So there's no size change and there's no flip. But we notice that the h here, do you see here, it is a minus h, but it is, it's a plus 1 here, so h is equal to negative 1, okay? Because that's because the original is negative h, so you have to write minus 1 here, all right? The k is going to be the 5, all right? So what does the minus 1 mean? This means to go to the left 1. The k which is five means to go up five, all right? If you're wondering how I got this, the only way to get a negative one here is to basically go like this, x, because remember it's a minus, right? And that h here has to be minus one. Hopefully you see that squared plus five. Do you see how the h value here has to be negative one? So when you multiply by that one outside, you get a plus one, all right? So the only thing happens here is we go left one. So I move this left one. Then we go up five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And then we hit submit. There you go. Okay. That is what happens when we have a vertical and a horizontal translation. Let's do one more problem. Okay. So if you have something that looks like this, it's still in vertex form. Let me write it in vertex form. So 
y is equal to negative x squared, all right? That means that this is really minusing zero here, squared. You don't see that minus zero here, but it's really here if you would write it like that. And your plus, your k value here is that four, okay? So that's how you write that in vertex form. You just have that minus zero attached to the x inside the parentheses, right? So the a here is equal to a negative one. So that one means same size, that negative, right, means we flip, okay? Then we have the h, it's equal to, h is equal to zero. So this means no move left or right. So there's no movement left or right. And we know that this four means up. So the k equals to four, it's positive. So this means up four, All right? So same size, the negative means we flip it. So it goes from one to one to one and negative one. Okay, do you see how we flipped it? Then we do not move it left to right. We don't do that. We just go up four based on the k equals to four. So one, two, three, four, all right? Okay, and then we submit the answer. There you go. That is how you do transformation of functions mix of A1.